Two weeks ago, I got this Mac Mini, but it's gotta go. Let me tell you why. I've been hearing a lot of hype about the Apple Mac Mini, but at the same time, because I use Homebrew, I wanted to make sure it was 100% right. Last year, Homebrew released version 3, which brought about support for Apple Silicon, which is great. And I've been watching Apple's refurb store, because I didn't want to pay full price. So the choice of options was a bit limited. And what I went for in the end was an 8 gig model with half a terabyte of storage, which I thought should be reasonable. I've been hearing lots of lots of people saying that 8 gigabytes is awesome, you can do everything with it, but that's not really the case. You can do a lot with it, but for my use case, I was struggling. I've been building an app on the side for a company, and it's written in uh, TypeScript using Expo, which I installed in a previous video. And it's all going well. But if you're anything like me, you open quite a few tabs whilst researching various bits and pieces, trying to understand things, solve problems, that sort of thing. So after a coding session, I might have like 20 tabs open. And because I'm developing an app that runs in your web browser, I tend to have two browsers open, one for the app and one for my research. Or maybe I'll have the app running multiple times in, in multiple tabs. But what I found was that Safari used a, a, quite a few gigabytes. The other browser used quite a few gigabytes. Visual Code used quite a few. And then for MySQL, it's like half a gigabyte. And before I know it, I'm my memory pressure is sort of like going through the roof. I'm using five gigabytes of swap. And if you've got 32 gigabytes of RAM, five gigabytes of swap isn't too bad. But when you've only got eight gigabytes of RAM, suddenly things are looking quite bad. So the machine was constantly slowing down because the drive inside the Mac Mini is really quick. But the trouble was it's not quick enough. It's not as quick as RAM. So the Mac Mini ends up swapping a lot of information from the RAM to the drive and back again, as you swap tabs, swap programs, and this slows you down. And I was finding, even if I was listening to audio, actually the audio would choppy, start going choppy because it, the system was really struggling. Maybe with the 16 gigabyte Mac Mini, I'd be all right. I don't know. I don't really want to spend like $1,300 on a 16 gigabyte, half a terabyte machine. Having seen the laptops they've recently released and the power that they've got, I'm more inclined to wait for a, a Mac Mini Pro. So I'm going to try and return this Mac Mini to the Apple Store for full credit with the view of getting something better, hopefully, before dub dub. In the meantime, I can slum it on my Intel MacBook. Hope this has helped, and I'll see you in another video.